Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Jill with At Home with Jill, and I am just showing you guys um, the intro from my last video because this is um, what I'm still doing. This is like a part two video. So, right here, what you're seeing, this is the cupboard that I was working on in this video. Um, but I'm kind of just showing you around in this whole space and like basically letting y'all know that this is our catch-all area and it just gets so messy so fast. Um, but yeah, so this is part two. If you did not watch part one yet on Sunday, go ahead and go there first, watch part one, then come back to this and watch this one. All right, so the day that I am editing this right now is Monday the 9th. You guys are going to be seeing this on Tuesday the 10th. Anyway, today is Monday the 9th, and today was our first normal day in such a long time, you guys. All four of my kids were almost 100% back to normal today. We probably could have even resumed our normal, like, um, extracurricular activities, which would be gymnastics for my oldest daughter tonight. But I decided to keep her home tonight just because I feel like their immune systems need a chance to like rest before they're exposed to a bunch of kids again because we just keep getting sick back to back to back and I feel like their immune systems don't fully have enough time to like get back to normal and then we're like exposed again and then sick again and stuff like that. So anyway, but today was so good. We did like a full day of homeschool, which was so nice because last week the TV was on pretty much 24 seven. Um, so it was really nice to just have like a normal day today. The kids played outside so much. We actually never turned on the TV today. It was so nice. Um, yeah, so I'm just happy. I'm happy that life is starting to go back to normal. And my husband and I officially never caught whatever my kids had. So, so thankful for that too. All right, guys, this is the pile of stuff from that cupboard. There's a lot of stuff here, like a ton of stuff. All right, time to sort it. Okay, so I've got sorted piles. This is all game and puzzle cupboard stuff. 
Um, this is all like craft, crafting things. Actually, this goes with the crafts. Um, this too, crafts, okay? And then there's construction paper. This was all sewing stuff, paint. Paint would go with crafts. Book, book goes up there for now. Um, and then we had like a thing of medicine. I'm still gonna put that because I put it all the way up in the top because it has like painkillers and stuff like that. Um, and then this is all school stuff. And then I added more to the trash pile and more to the pile of stuff that's going to the workshop slash garage area. So this is what I'm working with so far now. So this cupboard is a lot better now. I have my serger, which is a different type of sewing machine. Um, this is all sewing stuff. This is crafting stuff. All of this is crafting stuff. And then all that is also crafting stuff, except back there is medicine. But yeah, so much better. And then I found some more games and puzzles and so those are all in here. All right guys, so I'm switching gears a little bit here. I'm now cleaning my bedroom because I have been I've been spending so much time on the office that like the rest of my house is kind of starting to suffer. My bedroom was bothering me a lot and I knew that I didn't want my bed to be a mess when it was bedtime because that is something that drives me crazy it like makes me want to cry when I go to get in bed at night and the bed is a mess um, I had done a lot a big load of a bunch of blankets and stuff because everyone's been sick and so I just wanted to like get the fever and the flu or whatever off of all the blankets that the kids have been using um, so yeah I'm just cleaning up my room Aubrey is laying on my bed and doing some of her um, school that she does on her little computer. It's like this program that's kind of like a supplemental program. That's how we use it, but it could be used as a full curriculum um, if you wanted to, but because it has every subject. It has language arts, math, history, science. It has everything, and it's called IXL, and it is amazing. We love it so much. It's actually helping Aubrey know how to read better and everything. It's just been such a blessing. Um, but that's what she's doing. If anyone's wondering what she's doing on the computer, that's what she's doing. Knew from the first time I saw ya, you were not like the others, a cool kind of melody. You rattled my cage without warning. Kept it up right till the morning A new kind of ecstasy You found a different side of me The one I'd like to be A different side of me, yeah You found a different side of me Like someone pretty need A 
different side of me, yeah. Counting down till we take flight It's how you make me feel Yeah, yeah It's calling sick and be lazy I'm all for doing what's crazy Cause you make it real, yeah You find a different side of me The one I'd like to be A different side of me, yeah Someone pretty need a different side of me, yeah, yeah. I can feel that you're changing me. Day by day got me shedding skin The layers have peeled away Got me moving through time and space Your magic can be erased Can be erased You'll find a different side of me The one I'd like to be a different side of me, yeah, yeah. You'll find a different side of me, like someone pretty need. A different side of me, yeah, yeah. to be a different side of me yeah so another thing that is on my mind right now as I'm watching this back is that every single time I start picking up my house I'm like today is going to be the day where I finally get it all done like I have been trying for weeks now to have not only my whole house picked up but then also to be able to like vacuum and mop and just get the whole house like clean, like the whole entire house clean at the same time. And it has been literally impossible for me lately with all the kids being sick and all the laundry and the dishes and taking care of everybody and like being my head, like I've been pulled in like a thousand different directions for weeks now. Like I'll have this person over in their bed and this person in the living room and like everyone, mama, 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 I need this, mama, I'm hungry, mama, blah, blah. And oh my gosh, it's just been crazy. And still I have not been able to get the whole house clean. So anyway, as I am sitting here watching this, I am kind of brainstorming in my head a few ways that I can hopefully make this happen, but staying on top of things once they are clean is really going to help me to actually get to that end goal of like having the whole house clean again at once, um, because I used to be able to clean my whole house in one day, like no problem, and it's just been impossible. So I'm going to, now that my room is clean, I'm going to make sure that my room stays clean. So every morning when I wake up, I'm just going to make my bed and tidy it up like I used to. And then that way I can work on other rooms of the house and just work towards that end goal of having the whole house clean. Also, I decided that I, like, a must is that I need to clean the kitchen three times a day. After breakfast, I need to rinse all the dishes and clean the counters and everything and then do it again after lunch and then again after dinner instead I tend to just get so busy elsewhere and I kind of forget about the kitchen until I go in there again and then I'm like ugh but I'm hungry so I make food and then I leave and then I forget about it again it's it's an ADHD thing for sure but like I set an alarm on my phone for 10 a.m. and 1 p.m. 
so that those two times during the day I'm going to go in there and clean the kitchen and it'll be easy because it won't be a whole day's worth of stuff and then obviously at night before I go to bed I'm going to clean it for one last time but anyway that's the end of this video you guys thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed it I hope it was motivating for you and I'll see you guys in the next one bye